Hi there guys, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine Casper and I'm also going to be showing you later on in the video my 24 hour mining results. So as you can see here guys, Casper has been set at the top for just over 24 hours as the most profitable coin to mine at the moment. And if we actually take a look over at the coin market cap at the moment as well for the past seven days for Casper, uh, as you can see here, it's been doing very, very well in the past two days as well. So that'll probably be one of the main reasons of in, in you know the fact that you know, it's been a lot more profitable in this specific moment in time. So thankfully for myself, I was able to start mining yesterday. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you guys how you can mine this and then I'll go ahead and show you guys my 24 hour mining results. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do to start mining Casper is get yourself an address. So you can take yourself over to Trade Ogre, which is what we're going to be using for this video, and go ahead and grab yourself a wallet address that way. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to take ourselves over to the ACC pool, a cheaper fee. And then what we're going to do is press on the Get Started. And then because we're going to be using an NVIDIA GPU, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use lol miner so we're going to click here and this is going to take us to the github for lol miner and then what we're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the lol miner v1.61 and that'll be the win 64 and then what we're going to do once that's downloaded is find your downloads folder and here it is right here on messy desktop and then what we're going to do is go ahead and create another folder on this desktop and call this lol miner and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop this in here and what you're going to need to do to extract this is you even need something like winrar or winzip to extract this so if this doesn't work for yourself you will need one of those so just extract that straight there now once you open this up as you can see, there's already plenty of bat files and things like that ready to go. So what we're going to do is scroll down until we find the mine underscore cas. We're going to go ahead and press edit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to the pool, uh, or should I say the trade ogre where our deposit address is, and go ahead and grab your address again take yourself back over to the bat file that you had before go ahead and change that from the start the casper all the way to the end and change this to whatever uh, your rig is called so i'm going to put this as 3090 and make sure that the pool is correct this is the correct pool and that's probably fine for that port as well so i'm going to go ahead and press ctrl s or just press save then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this off. Take ourselves back to the actual folder. Let me just go ahead and close off what I'm already doing here. And if we double click this, we should now be successfully mining Casper coin. Okay, so there you have it. We are actually successfully mining Casper coin, which is great. But what I wanted to do, guys, is I did actually start mining this. As I did notice, uh, it did look like the markets were, were on the way up. So what I wanted to do is I was very, very busy yesterday, so I wasn't able to release uh, or, or make a video to release to let you guys know with immediately. But what I was able to do is I was able to jump on and set the bat files up so I was able to mine it for the 24-hour period. So what I'm going to do is just take you guys straight over to the pool. So let me just make sure I copy my address and take us over to the pool. And uh, let's go to the pool statistics and where do I throw my own address into here getting started miners there we go okay and let's press search on there and as you can see it it's only just got a yellow marker on there at the specific moment just because I just dropped off the miner just to do another how to just to show you guys to set up another bat file but as you can see here now this this has been going for over 24 hours i've only just added on the 2070 on there uh, but for the whole 24 hour period it has been mining so solely on a 3090 around about uh 800 to 900 you know mega hash but it has been showing on the actual bat file up to uh, a giga hash but as you can see at this specific moment because i'm recording things like that it will ever so slightly just decrease the speeds and things as well so that is something to take into account
Now, I've been paired 107 within that, that period of time. And if you, if you saw prior, just on the video, uh, when I was showing my balances, you can actually see on the Casper that I received around about 28 cents um, for, for the 24 hour mining period. Now that's not too bad, but at the same time it's not profitable at all, but it is the most profitable coin to mine at this specific second. One thing that I've noticed as well, I, when I was mining, um, you know, a lot of things such as like unminable and things like that using my USDT, um, I did actually end up, you know, making more money within the actual day than I did when, I, when I'm mining, you know, random individual cryptocurrencies. But, you know, it has been having, uh, you know, past a, a good couple of days at the moment. And I'm happy that you know I was mining over that period, so I'm, I'm you know I've, I've at least made ever so slightly a six to seven percent, a little bit more than what I would have done if I didn't have mined it. So I am you know glad that I did. Um, but I thought I'd make a video for you guys so that you guys could jump in and start mining as well, because you never know potentially. This is this is looking pretty good so far. This could easily um, you know tomorrow could easily have another little chunk on there and just ladder itself up. So. So my conclusion on Casper coin mine at this specific moment is that it seems to be reasonably all right to mine at the moment. It seems to be sticking at the top on what to mine more than uh, you know a couple of the other coins at the moment. You can see Xenos as well, also trying to make its little bit of a move up as well. So at this specific moment, I'm going to stay myself mining to it. I'm going to keep holding uh, the coin. I'm going to keep uh, accumulating over onto my trade order account and things like that. Maybe I'll sell it in the future or something like that. Maybe move it over, uh, maybe put it into like USDT or something. Maybe move it over to Nexo to earn some, some interest or something like that. Um, but for this specific time, I'm going to stay mining to it. And I'll keep you guys updated if I do switch around or I do change any cryptocurrencies. And I'll let you guys know what I'm doing on my GPUs. And I'll also let you guys know what I'm also doing on my CPUs as well. For those of you that are out there CPU mining as well. Also, I would like to say, if you are new to crypto mining, or you're new to CPU mining, or GPU mining, then definitely make sure to like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you guys can be updated and notified when I release new videos, because I will be letting you guys know what the most profitable coin is to mine, and I'll also be trying to my best to make sure that I can release the video as soon as possible so that you guys are up to date, so you can make sure that you can start potentially either hitting those ROIs if you haven't already done so.